happy vlogmas day two. This is where you'll catch me in the mornings. So when I was vlogging every day in October, I was spending my mornings on the sofa. And I feel like as soon as I sat down, I didn't stand up for like two and a half hours because you know when you just get going. So I've decided I'm now sitting at the island. But as much as I love these bar stools, they're just the wrong height for this island. So I sit here and it's just so uncomfortable. And I think today my new bar stools are being delivered. I could be wrong. It could be the delivery I missed a couple weeks ago, which is the mirrors. But I think it's the bar stools. So either way, we're going to find out. But good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. If you didn't see yesterday, I am in the middle of having my dressing room fitted. They are literally going to get here in probably about six minutes, the fitters. I have the dressing room fitter coming back today and then I have another fitter coming to do one of the other rooms and it's all go. It's like Piccadilly Circus here but it's fine because it means that within a few days it's going to be quiet and calm and there's going to be nobody here and it's going to be amazing but yeah I will go and show you the room and things just before they get here. I should probably do that ASAP because as soon as they turn up it's going to be chaos but I'm taking my chill little coffee I'm going to drink my drink in my little Disney cup. This is what I do in the morning. I chug electrolytes and I have a coffee and I just sit here and like give myself a second. But good morning. It's a great day. I have woken up in the best mood. I don't think I even had like that great tonight's sleep. I'm just excited to be here, to be honest. I'm just happy to be here, happy to be vlogging. And I also need to move that big fat tripod off my sofa because it just looks really ugly. <laughs> So this is the empty room. I spent all of yesterday evening emptying this. And what's happening in here, well, I think they're starting on this room today. I could be wrong, it could be the drawing room, but it would make 10 times more sense that it's this room. There's going to be cupboards built into both alcoves. As you can see, I mean, I don't know if you can actually. So they're slightly different depths. I feel like you can kind of see, but they have been obviously measured and customed and everything to fit perfectly but essentially they're going to be linen cupboards they are going to stick out a little bit past the chimney breast but that's actually how they were when i bought the house and it looked fine so yeah i'm really excited to have somewhere to put all of my clean linen and just store things away this is still going to be a gym so you know i can keep some gym equipment in one of them it's just going to be really handy i think this is going to make the biggest difference since i moved in having my cupboard cupboards and the shelves because I'm having a whole kind of built-in section done in the drawing room so it's going to be again in the alcoves of the chimney breast but it's going to be cupboards and shelves and it's just it's going to feel very finished which is something that I think I need the house to feel but at the same time I need to sort what I'm going to do in the snug because I am tempted to do a built-in in there I need to find a carpenter to do that but it's just all very like committal isn't it and I'm like what if I change my mind this is what it's looking like. I mean, go and watch yesterday's vlog if you want to see me explain what the room's actually going to look like. But yeah, he made insane progress. He did all of this yesterday. So I assume by the end of today, all of this will be done. And then probably he'll do like all these bits. And then maybe, well, it said it was going to be a two day job. So maybe he'll, no, surely he can't be finished today. I don't know. No. It's really tricky, isn't it? But yeah, this is what it's all looking like right now. This is the before, which is so crazy that the after is going to be so soon. I do think because I did spend so long feeling like it was so far away and not knowing how far away it actually was, like not having a date, that whenever things happen and they're actually happening, it is a bit like surreal and it just doesn't feel like it is actually happening. Also, please don't mind my hair. Everything is everywhere right now. And I actually cannot find my hairbrush. I had it last night and it has disappeared. So yeah, I need to delve into one of my bags and find one of my brushes out of my bags. But I can't get to them right now because they're all in the guest room. It's yeah, I'm sure you, I'm sure you get it. I just got back from walking codes, which is why I probably look a little windswept. But I thought I'd make some energy balls. I'm lacking like snacky things to grab, and I don't know if you can see, but I've been making my own peanut butter, and I think I'm gonna use this. I mean, I've just been eating it out of the shelf and. I feel like I'd actually rather use it in something. I haven't had the energy balls for a while and I keep wanting to make them and every time I think about it, I'm like, no, it's fine, I'll leave it because I have to do the oat flour and everything and it just gets a little messy, but I just need to just suck it up and do it because I really want them. Mmm, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I did it. They're in the fridge chilling and they look so good. They're just my favorite thing to grab and I've like actually really been missing them. <laughs> When I tell you, I have just had the most chaotic 30 minutes of my life. I have one Hammond's guy downstairs, one Hammond's guy upstairs, the shutter guy downstairs. I then have two other delivery drivers 
delivering the other bits for Hammond's. And then my Soho home delivery turned up with two other guys. So my house is just full of people. <laughs> but these are my counter stools. This is going to be so interesting. I really, really hope that these fit. Although I sorted my mirror that I got from them that I managed to send back and it was really easy to return. They literally just organized a courier, which was so kind of them because there was no way I was going to be able to carry that to like the post office or something. So yeah, at least I know if these aren't right, which I hope they are, then getting them picked up isn't a problem. But obviously it's uh, to my benefit if they're right. Oh, they're so nice. Gosh, you guys. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Please put them in place. Right, let me move these. I'll be very happy to have these tools gone. They've done me well for the past however many years, but they're not a vibe and they're not, they're not it. You know when something doesn't add to a space, it takes away from it. That's how I feel. Oh, these are way too short. Oh no. See, the other ones are 10 centimeters higher. What are they? Oh, I don't know. Wait, let me put it here so you can see. Is that too short? Oh, no. No, I think that's right. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, of course I'm here alone when this happens. How am I supposed to figure that out? No, I think this is right. I think any higher and you won't be able to sit here like it was a table. I want to be able to like work here and eat here. No, I think this is right. I'm going to have to call someone and show them. No, this is better because when I was sat higher, like the, the other one, the higher one's like 10 centimeters higher. Whereas this feels more like a table. See, this is one of those situations when I'd really rather have someone else here to tell me if I'm doing the right thing or not. <laughs> I feel like it feels right. I just don't think I'd want any higher. I've just called my mom and she says she thinks they look great. I think I'm just freaked out because it looks so much shorter than that. I mean, obviously you'll be able to let me know and I'll, I'll know tomorrow. So I'll have time to like change my mind. But the other one is a lot, a lot taller and is way more like a bar stool than a counter stool. Whereas these are the counter stools. I think it just looks a bit strange, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think I'm only overthinking it because I know there's a different size. Anyway, I am going to ponder on the stool thing. I think they're right. I think I'm just overthinking it because I know there's a taller one. I really, really, really like how they look and I think they're the perfect color. I think they're not too offensive in the room, but I also think they actually add. I didn't want to get something that was going to be like an eyesore or something that I got just because it looked good. These look good and it's comfortable and that's kind of all I could hope for. So yeah, I'm gonna ponder on that. I'm gonna drink my water do my workout and then get on with my day. As you can hear, I can't be doing much filming today. It's very loud, but I also have a reformation order that literally has just been delivered. It was my Black Friday order. I didn't order that many things on Black Friday. As I said yesterday, I thought I was going to do everyone's Christmas shopping and just never ended up getting it done. It was a busy week. But I did manage to make a reformation order. They do a 25% off every year. So what I tend to do is just wait until I know when that's coming and then I'll order maybe five or six bits and they will do me for the year. That's the kind of the way I shop from reformation. I mean, I love it. I love their things, especially their skirts. I did pick up a couple of other skirts actually. So I will try those on with you in a little bit. But I think when everyone's gone, it's just gonna be super, super loud. And as I said, there is people upstairs, downstairs. I mean, when they go for lunch in a bit, hopefully I'll be able to show you the progress. But for now, I'm going to work out and then go to get on with my day. If it looks like I'm spending my day just floating around and you're like, what are you even doing? Then you're not far from wrong because I've got the wardrobe being fitted. I can't really leave the house for like a prolonged period of time. And I don't want to leave him alone with them. So I am just here that's what I'm doing but thankfully I've got a lot of like laptop work and admin to do but I took the other stool out of the box I've concluded after video calling so many of my friends having so many like videos sent around and conversations that I am 100% happy with the stools I just need to figure out how I'm going to get another pair because I did call and ask when there was going to be more available and they said April <laughs> which it's worth waiting because they're right and I love them. And you know, it's so hard to find things that you love, love, but it's a long time away. I think they look so good. I'm so happy with that. I can't believe it. I just need to uh, somehow get two more. What do you think, Coats? He's like, no, 
not right now too many men in my house oh my goodness when i tell you today has been chaos there has been so many people in the house all day i mean the shutters downstairs have been finished which is amazing and the shutter up here has been done looks so good i'll show you in a sec and then i got the final delivery today for the rest of the hammonds things basically what they do is they deliver the room the day before they seem to install it that's like how it works so although i had a fitter here today fitting things he didn't have his delivery until tomorrow until today if that makes sense but he had the delivery for today, yesterday. I don't know. That's just how they seem to do it. But yeah, he was working downstairs in the drawing room. I'll show you that. Well, I haven't even had a look. We'll go and have a look. But I want to have a look at the dressing room first. And then this room is just full of stuff. But also, let's have a look at the uh, at the shutters first. And then the shutters have been done downstairs in the bay as well. So this is how they look. Oh, I'm so happy. You can't even tell that it's had to be kind of adjusted. And I really like how it's been like angled at the bottom. So it just, it looks like it's meant to be. And I'm so glad we didn't have to start fiddling with the radiator or moving anything like that because I feel like that's when things go wrong. Like my builder was saying to me, we can move the radiator and we can move the pipe and we can, and I'm thinking, oh no, let's not do any of that. So yeah, I'm really happy. I really, really love my shutters. I can't wait to go and see the ones downstairs in the drawing room. But it's just, it's crazy, isn't it? How much of a difference things like this make. And I'm so pleased with my decisions. So this room is still full of the furniture. <laughs> Uh, these are the wardrobe doors for my dressing room if you wondered what I'm going for. So I've got glass and I'm going to put fabric on the inside. So my grandma had cupboards like that growing up and I always just thought they were the most beautiful thing. I have no idea what fabric I'm going to put in but I love the fact that I can change them. Obviously not often but you know if a few years down the line I decide I want a refresh it's not like I have to paint all the doors or I don't have to get brand new wardrobes. I can literally change out the fabric and I think that's so cool okay moment of truth i'm nervous oh they leave it immaculate they spend a good 25 30 minutes uh vacuuming every time before they leave oh <gasps> look at this so this is what's happening either side of the fireplace so obviously can you see it comes out a little bit into the fireplace i could choose to do that or to have smaller wardrobes and I just thought it looks fine like I really I really like the detail and then look it goes all the way around into the corner and then actually round into the room oh I've not really thought about what we're going to do here I know when I used to have my old wardrobe setups I'd have bags hanging here or like umbrellas or something like that I don't know hmm haven't thought so yeah these have all been put in if you watch yesterday's vlog these weren't here and then we come round and this is what you see this side I mean to be honest Honest, I'm over the moon and I guess tomorrow he'll just be fitting the internals and the doors and then and the island I mean that is m like m really honestly so much progress so yesterday he did all of this and then the baseboards of this and then today he's done all of this and then this as well oh it looks so good and you know what the room still feels insanely big and that was i wasn't ever worried about it feeling small but obviously it's a room of cupboards which can be quite cold and quite consuming so yeah i'm really really happy about that and look at all the space because bear in mind all of this is double hanging so i've got like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then these are like for shoes and stuff oh i am so happy again before he left though he came and gave me a little safety briefing he's like right it's dusty in there don't let the dog in if you go in there barefoot you will probably stand on some wood so don't do that like i was like oh that's so kind so i had another fitter come today who was doing the downstairs like i said and then the same guy who was here yesterday doing all this i guess this is like his project and then the guy doing the drawing room downstairs is also doing the gym as well but the gym's being used as storage right now for the rest of the stuff because it yeah it got delivered and <laughs> it kind of just stood there like where do you want it and i'm like oh um but yeah as i said this morning i thought he was doing the uh gym first but turns out he was doing the drawing room first but it all worked out fine but for now we will shut the door in the room because we i don't want to cause a mess <laughs> Okay, oh my goodness, let's switch the light on. So welcome to the drawing room. As you can see, uh, there is stuff. But I'm gonna cover that because we don't need to look at that. But you can see what's being started in here. And then down here, look at my beautiful shutters. I actually can't, they're insane. They're so perfect. Like they're so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. This has just been something that I've so been dreaming of for my whole life, like having shutters like this. And I just think they're absolute perfection. And I think when you've got something as beautiful as a bay, you really do want to highlight it. So what? 
the Hammonds guy has done today is this is going to be cupboards at the bottom and then shelving at the top. And it was, uh, you know what, what's actually been really good with both of them. If there's been any queries, they've just come and asked me what I want, which I think is really cool. So yeah, there's going to be shelving above here and then this is going to be cupboards. I have no idea where I'm actually going to put the TV. Obviously, I've put a socket for it here. Uh, so maybe I will end up mounting it just for kind of ease. I mean, it's a frame TV anyway, so it will look pretty. And then over here we have this one. Originally, this was going to be a double in the whole of this kind of alcove, but I have a radiator under here, so I couldn't do that. But I'm so glad that I've got this here. Obviously, it's all going to be finished off and everything, so it'll look more uh, built in. But yeah, this is going to be, again, cupboards at the bottom and then bookshelves. Oh, I can't wait. And then at the back here, this is all going to be bookshelves. So initially, what I was going to do in this back room was have a piano the other side and then a bookshelf here and then like some sort of like armchair but I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore it was my just like you know you know when you have like a rough idea that's what I was thinking but we'll see how the room feels I'm just looking forward to getting some Christmas decks in here to be honest but after all of that I have so much packaging to get rid of and with the bar stools as well I do think as part of my installation Hammonds are responsible for getting rid of the rubbish but I don't know when I need to ask that question I've got like a person on text I can text and ask so I will ask that because otherwise it's gonna be a bit of a problem so yeah I'm gonna try and sort about that but what I want to do right now is uh get a cup of tea and then something sweet like an evening nibble the M&S chocolate covered lotus ow that was loud biscuits are elite you know what are also great? The chocolate covered custard creams. Oh, welcome to the only room in the whole entire house that is not in a dire state. Actually, the kitchen's fine, but there is stuff. And I just felt weird trying to close on in the kitchen. So I got a little reformation haul. These are all kind of Christmassy, uh, like event, not event dresses, but like Christmas party, Christmas dinner, Christmas day kind of outfits. And look at this. Yeah, so we're gonna have a bit of a try on. Outfit number one, I love. <laughs> Perfect timing, Cody. <laughs> I love. Um, but what I would say is there's a bit of excess fabric here. And I just don't love when they do their ruching thing on the back. I should have looked at that. I assume because it was one of the higher price point dresses, they wouldn't have done that. I, I don't mind it on the t-shirts because, and like the tops, because I don't think you notice as much. There's one here that's got it on that I don't think I'll notice. But I think when you're paying this much for a dress and it's like an evening thing, I kind of don't want it to have that on. But if that doesn't bother you, it is a very gorgeous dress. And I'm five foot 10 and it hits my feet so like with a pair of cute heels it'll sit perfectly and it is beautiful it's just not quite right for me i want to love this but it's not quite right i don't know how well you can see but it hits at such a beautiful point i just think there's a bit much going on up here i would love if it was a bit more feminine it just doesn't sit like how i thought it was going to but i do love that it's super floaty and the thing that attracts it to me is the back my mum's wedding dress actually had buttons down it all like this and i just think ever since seeing that i've always kind of loved the style i'm trying to move the thing there you go i just think it's really really beautiful but sadly this just doesn't you know it just doesn't hit and it's too much for a beautiful dress to not feel amazing in it and if I don't feel amazing in it then it's not like the right dress for me but I do think it's beautiful this next dress is the last thing that I actually saw before I checked out this was definitely like an add-on at the end and I don't even know wait is that the this is the front it feels very much like it's going to fall down um that's probably down to me not having much to fill it but also there's nothing on it to kind of keep it up not that I like those sticky, sticky bits and dresses anyway but it's a very kind of delicate fabric and it's not particularly tight so yeah I can't keep this because I would spend all night hooking it up it's not a look but it is a beautiful dress and if you have more to fill it than me then I highly recommend this because it's beautiful the cut is beautiful the color is even beautiful uh, just sadly not for me how does this go is this right yeah well this is just beautiful oh my goodness this feels amazing i love it when something fits like a glove also you're gonna have to ignore the hair i'm literally about to wash it it's just sprouting in every direction but i think this is really beautiful they call this a knit dress it, it's not but look can you see the straps i just think this is so feminine so gorgeous but it has so much personality is that twisted i think i need to have a little bit of a play with it but yeah I feel really really good in this and it's even like the end of the day you know I, if there's ever a time where I don't think I feel good in a dress it's probably right now and I do this is the top that I was talking about that I said has the ruching on the back but I don't think it's a problem on this top 
Can you see that? I, it just doesn't offend me on this top. I think because this could be something that's more casual, it doesn't bother me. But with like a sparkly, lovely dress, I don't know. Let me know if you if you know what I mean by that. I think it's more just like an association thing. This to me feels more casual and like the anyway, not that deep. Love the top though. How beautiful is this? So it is one top, but it looks like a kind of layered scenario. It fits like an absolute glove. I love this. And then this skirt is actually one of those skirts that I wear all the time. You know the silk ones, but it is a velvet one, so I can also wear this on my hips like this. But I would probably with this outfit wear it on my waist. I think I might keep both of these. Pieces pieces because I can see myself wearing the velvet skirt so often this kind of season because definitely like party but like work dinner kind of scenario it's so comfortable but looks like you've made a real effort and then this top I just think is so insanely versatile and I definitely think coming into the warmer months which oh my gosh we can't think about yeah obviously but I think this would be really nice for holiday not that I have a single one booked but one can dream I've had to do a little foldy situ so you can see what's going on with the skirt but how beautiful is this skirt it's actually i think this is the bella skirt i could be wrong oh no it is <laughs> spend too much time on this website so you can wear this high waisted as i am right now or you can also wear this kind of low waisted obviously but i think this skirt with a cute knit is just oh my goodness such a winner and yeah i mean i am absolutely keeping this because i am trying to wear less black and i think this is going to be a really great answer for dinners evenings i obviously wouldn't wear it with the top i'm wearing right now but with like a cute knit like a crop knit i think it would look really sweet and even just with like a really nice Nice kind of bone color long sleeve top tucked in for like daytime i like you want to cuddle don't you? use cuddle time we're normally cuddling on the sofa at this time so he's looking at me like can we go and do that now please you're going to have to have some real vision for this one because i obviously wouldn't wear it as a set but the top i think is really sweet but i don't think i like it enough to keep however you're in the market for a black top look how gorgeous this is i just think it's really different but what i really want to highlight to you is the skirt how cool is this i never thought i would be like a maxi denim skirt girly however this is so lovely and i think this with a really nice like t-shirt tucked in for daytime but like not jeans i'm trying not to wear jeans is a really nice kind of different outfit and there's a slit on the back which i think is really nice i am just such a big fan of this <laughs> i didn't think i would be this was the thing that i ordered that i would say had like an element of risk but i think the risk was paid off because i am without a doubt keeping the skirt well my friends it's that time i'm going to love you and leave you how is it the third of december tomorrow and i still don't have my christmas decorations up i'm getting like itchy feet i need to well I, actually i saw this thing on tiktok i think it was where people were using a like curtain what's it called i don't know what the word is <laughs> Um, you know, one of those curtain poles that kind of pushes into the side of the wall instead of like screwing in like a, a pressurized one. I, I don't know. I can't remember what it's called anyway. And then wrapping garlands around it. So it kind of hangs over and oh my goodness, it looked beautiful. I really am like, ooh, kind of want to do that. But yeah, I, if, if we don't manage to get some decks up tomorrow, if the, um, like if the state of the house is still too dire, then I think we get the Christmas bedding out and the Christmas pajamas out. So at least I feel like, you know, I'm getting a bit festive. But thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, a thumbs up goes a long way and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.